on good treacherous season, Moana. But now, no, Disney superstar Ali Cravalho is getting ready to take on her next challenge. She's making her West End debut in a special two-night run of Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber's award-winning musical, Evita. Just before she treats us to a performance of the song Don't Cry For Me, Argentina, which is going to bring the house down, <laughs> she joins us for a chat. Thanks. Wow. Oh, Ali, it's so lovely to meet lovely you. To meet you. So How are you? Yeah. I'm good. I'm still a little jet lagged, but I'm happy to be here. Have you been in the UK before? Have you come over and done? You must have done promo back in the day, sure. Oh no, actually, I've never done promo here. But um, I, I spent a good stint. I filmed here before during COVID, so I feel like this is a completely different city than <laughs> what I saw <laughs> yeah. previously. It's a lot busier than I remember. Yeah. Um, so how did this role come about? How did this happen? Oh gosh. Well. One, I would like to say that I did audition for this. Um, I learned the music, you know, I heard that there was going to be a concert and it really intrigued me because uh, as someone who understands the theater world but has only dabbled in it, I went, only two shows. This is, I mean, only two <laughs> nights, this is gonna be great. Yeah. But we have a week to put together a Vita, which is a feat in itself. I feel very prepared and very supported by my cast. I can't wait to work with them. This West End it's talent is just, it blows me away. Um, I'm so happy to be here. But I bet they're all starstruck with you, because obviously, I know we're not <laughs> really allowed to talk about it, but you was in Moana, you was a princess. How does that compare to working on stage? Oh, well, they're completely different mediums. I love voiceover work because I'm just by myself in a booth. I usually have, like, my shoes off, I'm wearing sweatpants, and I just <laughs> have to act like a little gremlin, you know, and get to tell a story purely through my voice. But theatre... It's a completely different posture. I mean, what does it mean when I carry my shoulders differently? Or yeah. it, it, I just feel like I'm growing leaps and bounds in this short week. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, very different. I think it's important to talk about the reason why you're not allowed to talk about it because yeah. there's a big situation going on in America at the moment. Tell us yes. about that. I would love to talk about Moana. I have so many incredible projects that I've had the, the honor to work on, but my... Um, my unions are currently on strike, so our Writers Guild, as well as SAG-AFTRA, our uh, Screen Actors Guild, and I'm really hoping that they come to a, a deal that pays people fairly, that gives them a wage that they are able to live off of, that streaming yeah. and AI has, has more clarity. Um, yeah, so as much as I would love to talk about them, I unfortunately can't, but... A little word, though, because <laughs> our very own Nicole Scherzinger was in it as well. Is she? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, she was. I bet you don't. Do you get to meet when that happens? No, that's what also is so different about voiceover work versus theater yeah. is we do our entire project completely separate in very different rooms. I wouldn't be surprised if she filled Moana from like London. So <laughs> when you auditioned for this, did you, was it remote or I mean, how did? Yeah, I was in Hawaii. I, I was home. You were in Hawaii yeah. and you sang down a Zoom basically. Stop it. Yes, I did. What? Yeah, we had to go through the settings and be like, okay, so please turn on like the audio, <laughs> but turn off the reverb. Because you need, I was going to say, you need your settings to be on point together. Yeah, oh. yeah. I, I did pretty good on Zoom. What did you know about <laughs> about the musical? Oh gosh, well, I'll be honest, I was born and raised in Hawaii, so we don't get this kind of theater that far across the sea. So truly, I know, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. I yeah. can't imagine anyone doesn't know yeah. that song. Yeah. There's some type of earworm that finds them You're no matter. You're Gen Z, aren't you? You're it's true. Gen Z. It's true. I bet you've never heard of it, have you, babes? <laughs> Move, next question. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you play strong women. Ava Perón was just this incredible. Yeah. yeah. I'm really grateful that this character has also such an arc. You know, we get to see her over so many years of her life. We get to see her as someone who just wants to get out of where she's from. Yeah. And then truly using others to her advantage and then a political advantage and right to her death. Like, there's so much to play. It excites me as an actor and as a voice actor to play into, like, the different people that she becomes. Well, listen, uh, like, we love it. Like, uh, there's something about this song. Like, we, it's we, beautiful. Like, it just transcends, like, yeah. ages, doesn't it? Like, whoever you are, you know this song. So we'll let you go. Let you go and get ready. Thanks. Best of luck. Thanks for the chat. Great chat as well. Just a little reminder, uh, you can see Evita at the uh, Theatre Royal Drury Lane for a special two-night run. Yeah, only two dates. That's why it's she loved that It's going to be packed tight, isn't it? Yeah, no, 31st of July and the 1st of August. And giving us a taste of what to expect, here's Auli E with Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. <laughs> i 
just up to the night at sixes and sevens with you. Don't cry for me. Got me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, lovely. That was sensational. Beautiful. Oh, more! <laughs> I just hear that again. Uh, oh.